and welcome in. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, all of that good stuff. I hope you guys are having an awesome holiday season. And today I have a killer groove for you. But I first wanna acknowledge a little throwback for those of you guys who have been watching this channel for a while. In October of 2015, I posted this lesson and it was the first real lesson that I ever had go viral. And by viral, I mean drum industry viral, which is not the same thing, but we take what we can get. Now, over six years later, I don't know if this topic of Tom Grooves is still relevant or interesting because I have turned into an old man since then, but I at least think this particular groove is worthy of a breakdown. So I first wrote this groove specifically for my announcement video with Pearl because I got a brand new six piece drum set and I wanted to make sure that you guys could hear this entire kit. Now this was a real challenge for me because I've had a rivalry with 12 inch toms for literally my entire life. So I had to show this young lady who calls the shots around here. So the groove that we're learning today is a total of 32 notes and we're gonna break that into two measures of 16th notes. Now the first of those two measures is a variation of the inverted paradiddle groove. If you're unfamiliar with the inverted paradiddle, I'd recommend getting that down first. It's an incredibly useful rudiment to get down and as a groove, it sounds something like this. So if that feels good, just as a framework, let's take a look at the actual variation that we're playing for today's groove. We're gonna work our way up to the downbeat of four in the measure that you can see on the screen now. And this is still basically an inverted paradiddle groove, but there are three key details that I wanna point out before we try this. First, we have a kick drum underneath that right hand on the uh of beat one. And you wanna make sure that you really nail that kick drum because it adds a lot of feel to the groove. Second, starting on the E of beat two, our pattern moves up to the hi-hats. And given that we're gonna speed this up quite a bit, I would recommend using the flick or the backhand technique to get your left hand up to the hi-hat. It's gonna make things way easier by the time we get this up to speed. And third, make sure that you let that open hi-hat on the downbeat of three really sing out. If you want, you can actually take your entire foot off of the hi-hat pedal because that note is the last time that we touch the hi-hats for the rest of the groove. Okay, so with those three things in mind, let's get our first section out of the way. Stopping on the downbeat of four with that snare backbeat, we'll try this out at two speeds. So now let's move on to the tom section because that inverted paradiddle groove almost functions as like just an introduction to the tom melody, which is really what makes this thing a tom groove and that's why you're here. So what you can see on the screen now is the entire groove. It's, it's all two measures, but we're not quite ready to play all two measures. For now, I just want you to take a look at the last two notes that we played. From the uh of beat three in the first measure, we're beginning a very important eight note sequence. Right, left, kick, kick right, left, left, kick. Now, if you follow those eight notes, you'll see that we play that pattern a second time right after it, but this one starts on the uh of beat one in the second measure. Again, same pattern, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, left, kick. So because this eight note sequence is such a core element of this tom groove, we're gonna isolate this pattern and play it as its own exercise. If you can get this eight note pattern up to speed, just loop it around and get comfortable, it's gonna make it that much easier to glue the whole thing together. Now there are four right hands in this exercise and I'll be moving each one to a different tom, but just know that you can totally modify this groove to work on any size kit that you have. Just move each right hand to a different tom and you'll be good to go.
Not horrible, right? So now I want to bring up again our full two measure groove. And you might remember that that eight note pattern does not actually begin on a downbeat in the full groove. Remember the way that we just played it when we isolated the pattern, it was starting on the downbeat, but it's kind of displaced in the full groove. This does make it trickier to hear, but at least you'll have the muscle memory of the pattern itself from the exercise that we just played. All right, so we've learned the intro of the groove in the first measure. That was our inverted paradiddle. Then we learned the 16 note sequence that makes up the tom melody. And technically, there are only five notes remaining that we haven't covered. We're ending this groove with a five note pattern of right, left, kick, right, left. Now for those last five notes, I like to play the first right hand over on a floor tom because it will already be over there. But for the second right hand, I like to bring that one back to the snare drum so we can end this groove with two loud snares and it puts us in a good physical position to start the groove over. And now we've reached the inevitable moment of every drum lesson where me continuing to explain things is no longer helpful and we just need to hear this thing all glued together. I'm gonna slow these two measures way down to a nice practice tempo and then we'll build up some speed. Good luck. We'll do it for our Tom Groove on a six piece kit. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. And if you're looking for more content like this, you'll find tons of it on my online drum school. You can check out orlandodrummer.com via the links in the description or our mobile apps for iOS and Android. And this is the fastest way to start improving your drumming right away. Inside the members area, you'll find in-depth courses and master classes on topics like grooves, fills, rudiments, music theory, recording, videography for musicians, drum technique, and anything else you can imagine. OrlandoDrummer.com is also home to the world's largest library of drumless play-alongs, including blues, dubstep, metal, pop, funk, hip hop, and much more. With over 175 hours of content and over 50 albums of play-alongs, a community forum, and direct support from me and my team, a membership to OrlandoDrummer.com is one of the best investments that you can make into your music education heading into the new year. You can start a risk-free seven-day trial and use code TOMGROOVE for half off of your first month. Thanks so much for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Adam here, the Orlando Drummer, and I will catch you in the next lesson. Later.